Let me now introduce you to several Biosight tools that will be described more fully in later webinars in the series. These tools are useful both for navigating the genome metabolic regulatory information space and for analyzing high throughput datasets. Our first tool is called the Cellular Overview Diagram. It's an organism specific metabolic map diagram that is zoomable and searchable. Each node in the diagram is a metabolite, and we can identify them by mousing over them, and each line is a metabolic reaction. The diagram can be searched using the commands on the right side, and it can be zoomed using the mouse scroll wheel. And we see more information as we zoom in, and we can drag the diagram around to position it. You can also compare the metabolic networks of two organisms by highlighting on this diagram the reactions shared with another organism. Biopsych has a number of omics data analysis capabilities for transcriptomics, proteomics, and metabolomics data. The user can paint these large-scale data sets onto individual pathways, multi-pathway diagrams called pathway collages, and onto the full metabolic map cellular overview that we just saw. There's also a tool called the omics dashboard, and there are standard enrichment analysis tools to compute pathways that are statistically overrepresented in gene or metabolite sets. Uh, it will also compute overrepresented go terms and overrepresented regulators. This diagram shows gene expression data painted onto a single pathway. We can also paint omics data onto the cellular overview diagram. In this case, we're painting a transcriptomics data set onto the E. coli cellular overview diagram. And you may notice that this is an animated display in which we're watching the progression across six different time points during the shift from anaerobic to aerobic growth. And we can stop and start the animation, and we can display the expression levels of any gene or genes within the data set. The next tool is called the omics dashboard. The omics dashboard provides an integrated view of a metabolomics or transcriptomics data set. In this case, we're looking at the same gene expression data set for E. coli. The omics dashboard consists of a set of panels for major subsystems like biosynthesis, degradation, and energy metabolism. And each panel contains a set of plots of the subsystems within that system. Within each plot, the six vertical bars correspond to the six time points, and the fat dots average all of the genes at each of the time points. So that we can see that overall, during this shift from anaerobic to aerobic growth, amino acid biosynthesis is going up. Now, if we want to see more detail about one of those subsystems, we simply click on that plot, and we now get the same style of display for each of the individual amino acid biosynthetic pathways. And if we click on it, we see details of each gene involved in the pathway at each of the different time points. Another tool within Biopsych is called Smart Tables, which allows the user to collect and save lists of database objects, such as lists of genes, metabolites, or pathways, or sequence regions. The user can explore properties of that set interactively, filter and combine these sets, such as by taking an intersection of two sets, transform them into related objects, like transforming a gene list into a pathway list, and sharing smart tables with the public or with specific collaborators. For example, here's a gene smart table that was imported from a file, and we're looking at the name of the gene, the name of the gene product, and we've added a transformation that shows for each gene the pathways that that gene is involved in. Here's another gene smart table, but in this case, we're looking at the accession number for each gene, its start and end position within the genome, and the DNA sequence of the gene. Here's a smart table for metabolites, in which we're looking at metabolite name, smile, string, and the structure of the metabolite. And in the next webinar in the series, you'll learn how to search Biopsych.